Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the International Mathematical Olympiad 1967, long listed problem 37, proposed by Poland. We wish to prove that 1 over a plus 1 over b plus 1 over c is less than or equal a to the power of 8 plus b to the power of 8 plus c to the power of 8 over a cubed, b cubed, c cubed, for all positive real numbers a, b and c. So this problem is rather easy, once you have the following tool. Uh, let's use Mirhead's inequality, which almost trivializes this problem. So look it up on Wikipedia if you don't know this uh, inequality, and or stick with me and I will solve it in a minute. Alright, so first of all let's take our inequality, which we wish to demonstrate. And let's, first of all, let's get rid of the denominators. So, I will take this inequality and I will multiply on both sides by a cubed, b cubed, c cubed. And notice that then I am left with a squared b cubed c cubed plus a cubed b squared c cubed plus a cubed b cubed c squared. And on the right hand side we have a to the power of 8 plus b to the power of 8 plus c to the power of 8. And let me also <clears throat> multiply everything by 2, so I have 2a squared b cubed c cubed plus 2a cubed b squared c cubed plus 2a cubed b cubed c squared less than or equal this. Alright, now it's time to introduce some new notation. Uh, uh, the expression on the left hand side can be expressed in this compact way. It's sum over all permutations of ABC, which I will denote by sum, or sum sub sim, which means I'm summing over all permutations of ABC. And every expression is of the form A cubed, B cubed, C squared. And on the right hand side, we have likewise the sum over all permutations of ABC, and we have expressions of the form A to the power of 8. Notice also that we have six permutations of ABC, and indeed we have six terms on the left-hand side, and six terms on the right-hand side. Now, time to use Mirhead's inequality. Uh, to use it, we need to compare these exponents right here. Or maybe I will write it in a more suggestive way, because here we have b to the power of 0, c to the power of 0. And let's compare these two sequences. 3, 3, 2, 8, 0, 0. Well, this sequence is majorized by this sequence. So I will write it majorized. Is majorized by 800. What do I mean by that? I.e., the first terms 3 is less than 8. Second, sum of the uh, first two terms on the left hand side is less than the sum of first two terms on the right hand side. And finally, the sum of all the terms are the same. If something like that happens, we say that one sequence majorizes the other sequence. And now, uh, assumptions about... Uh, so now we can use Mirhead's inequality, and we can say that this inequality is true. So if I denote this by asterisk, asterisk is true because of Mirhead's. inequality. And this closes our problem. This problem, as you have seen, this solution was rather quick and short because we have used this powerful Mirhead's inequality, which, to be honest, it's one of the more powerful tools, especially when dealing with older problems, when this inequality was not so widely known by participants of Olympiads. Well, more problems of this type was were given, but nowadays less problems are given because, because just applying Mirhead's inequality 
many view it as not very interesting problem which can be solved solved this easily and by the way you should look uh mir has inequality on wikipedia uh to read about all the details of it and so on and about this notation symmetric sums all right thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time uh, goodbye